I got my three questions that you guys were asking for. So there's one right here. So I don't mess them up. Um, so the first question is, what does personalized learning mean to you? Um, it means exactly that. It means learning that's catered toward each individual student. Um, I definitely feel like it's all about relationships. And um, it has to have figuring out ways to make the kids tick and figuring out what is motivating for him or her. And I think that um, personalized learning means basically having their own plan. How are they going to get to where they want to go? How are they going to get to the uh, achieving the, the content standards um, in a way that's relevant for them? So uh, it almost sounds a little more like an IEP where everybody sort of has their own individualized learning plan. And, um, and I feel like the way to get there for sure is first and foremost, getting to know the student, um, regardless of the age, anywhere from, you know, kindergarten all the way up to high school, you've got to have a relationship with them and, and, and build a trust and figure out what it is that, that they enjoy. Um, you have to be really transparent. Uh, also, figuring out where they're at academically, um, just sitting there and listening to them read or write or whatever it is that they do for their, um, for math, um, just kind of assessing them, little mini assessments, even kind of, um, you know, some formative assessments to see benchmark wise where they're at. And then from there, once you've got some data, once you've got, um, you know, you get to know the kid and their family and what they like, you create a plan from there. You figure out what it is that their goals are. And their goals could be something as simple as um, learning their times tables to I want to become a mechanic or I want to become a veterinarian when I get older. So using those tools to create an individual plan that is meaningful for, for the kids. Um, my second question is what 21st century tools would you use to enhance teaching in a non classroom based environment. Well, we all got pretty, pretty fluent with all that stuff through COVID, but um, obviously Zoom, Google Classroom, Google Meet. I had been doing Google Classroom a long time before, um, before Zoom even, or before COVID even kind of hit. Um, but also more so, I feel like we've gotten really good with Nearpod and Flipgrid and, and all of these IXL learnings. And there's so many things that are on technology now, but I feel like in a non classroom based. I don't want the kid just sitting in front of a computer. We live in an amazing spot in El Dorado County, uh, Placer County, Nevada County, all those areas. They have amazing things where you can visit farms. Um, you can go through the American River Conservancy or Yuba Land Trust and they have things that are for homeschool kids and for learning science and nature and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm big into outdoors, so really want the kids to get out there. So not only would I obviously do things with technology, which I'm pretty well versed in, um, making sure that the kids go out into their community and become um, you know, good members within where they live and try to figure out what it is that their neighborhood needs. So not only doing stuff online, but obviously getting the kids out um, with their families and um, figuring out ways to be a good contributor to society, I guess is what I was trying to say. And then my last one, my last question here. <laughs> Why would you be a good fit for Visions? Um, it's, I've been teaching for 15 years and people have evolved. Um, times have evolved. Education in the classroom hasn't evolved much. And, and I've noticed in the last 15 years, kids have checked out. And I miss, I miss the relationship with kids and I miss being able to create that individual plan for kids. Um, I love teaching. I, period, bottom line, I can't imagine doing anything else. Um, I'm always up for learning new things. And I definitely think that education is going in the direction of um, more individualized learning. I mean, I, I think it should, and I'm, I'm right there with it. So anyways, I hope that's it. I hope I didn't go over, you know, teachers, we talk too much. So anyways, um, again, my name is Jen Todd, and um, thank you. I hope to hear from you soon. Bye.